Boutique caravan builder Van Cruiser has always done things a little bit differently, like offering Australia's first caravan spa bath a few years ago. And while there's nothing too radical about this latest family HTO model, it does stand out for being a full off-road and off-grid caravan that can comfortably accommodate a family of four despite its compact size. So let's check it out. Based in Carrum Downs, Victoria, Van Cruiser specialises in smaller 14 foot to 17 foot body length, single axle full height caravans designed for outback travel. With all five models in the range boasting a timber framed and insulated aluminium composite panel body, a heavy duty hot dip galvanised chassis, all terrain tyres and off-road clappling, plus Cruise Master's top spec ATX independent coil suspension. With its six figure price tag, you'd expect a lot of features on this 16 foot 7 inch family HDO model, and it doesn't disappoint with 16 inch alloys and 12 inch electric brakes, LED lighting on all four sides, external speakers and a picnic table with TV connections, a rollout awning, twin 9 kilogram gas bottles and a gas bayonet, as well as an external shower among the standard external features. For storage, there's a large front toolbox and a slide out for a portable fridge, along with a big wood rack on top, and an LED lit tunnel boot and more storage options along the offside wall. While up back, there's a single spare wheel mounted on the rear bar, cold water tap and a reversing camera. Van Cruiser also includes this external pull-out kitchen for outside cooking, which includes a three burner gas cooker and a sink with mixer tap, both with glass lids, and this handy slide out bench top. Extensive off-road armour includes checker plate on the front and sides, while the reinforced underbody includes an ABS protective coating for the one-piece plywood floor. There's also plenty of ground clearance to help traverse bumpy tracks, while the wheel guards are made from galvanised steel for additional durability. Of course, Van Cruiser is allowed for a few nights of comfy camping off the grid with a 200 amp hour lithium battery system fed by 600 watts of rooftop solar, which should be enough to run a few appliances when you're not plugged in to 240 volt mains power. There are also two underbody mounted 95 litre freshwater tanks and a 95 litre grey water tank to handle shower, drink and wastewater needs for a few days when free camping. As a serious off-road van, there's plenty of ground clearance, which means there's a big step up to get into the van through the triple lock security door. So you'll probably want to carry either a portable step like this, although there is the option to have a fixed step installed. So anyway, let's take a closer look inside. Once again, Van Cruiser has managed to pack a lot into what is a relatively compact interior for a family ensuite van, but it all slots in neatly, including a good sized east-west parents bed up front, a single bench dinette opposite the kitchen, and the double bunks and bathroom up back. So when the weather turns a bit nasty outside, like today, there's another indoor kitchenette with a gas cooktop and a sink with mixer tap, plus some cupboards and drawers for your food and utensils, Although there's not a lot of bench space unless you close the glass lids. There's also a range hood and a small window to cope with the cooking smells, plus a slimline 150 litre compressor fridge freezer to cater for all the hungry tummies. So you can't get everything into a van this size and the family HDO misses out on both a microwave and an oven, while the spot for the standard 24 inch TV is directly above the sink, which isn't ideal for someone who also wants to use the kitchen at the same time. The main bed gets a comfy in the spring mattress and is big enough for most couples, although you'll be tossing a coin for who gets to sleep closest to the toilet at night. There's also some handy storage spots at one end, along with more overhead cupboards, electrical sockets, reading lights and twin 12 volt fans. The family HDO also comes well equipped with a rooftop air conditioner, roof hatch and a skylight, plus quite a few double glazed windows, plus this 12 volt pressure hatch that helps keep the dust out when you're traveling along dirt roads. There are more reading lights and some pull out storage under the dinette seats, and you should be able to squeeze in a family of four at dinner time around the tabletop with some easy cleaning upholstery to cope with any messy spills. 
The bunk beds are also a decent size and to minimise complaints, the kids get their own storage spots and power sockets, along with 12 volt fans to help keep them cool on hot nights. About the only thing missing back here, apart from a washing machine, is some privacy screens for the bunks, although you do get this concertina door to block off the ensuite. And while you won't be able to squeeze too many people back there, the ensuite comes well equipped with a cassette toilet, vanity with sink and mirror, and a separate shower cubicle with the latest black tapware, plus digital screens to control and monitor electrical and water usage. Anyway, let's hitch it up and see how it tows. So one of the advantages of buying a more compact and lighter weight off-grid family caravan like this is having more tow vehicle options and we're actually using a, a petrol engine Nissan Pathfinder for this tow test which has a 2700 kilogram towing capacity or just under the maximum load of weight of the van. The van's also only 2.27 metres wide which makes it a little bit easier to tow on narrow roads like we're on now as well as easier to park up for the night. The van's long travel suspension and articulated coupling helps the whole rig ride pretty smoothly over lumpy bitumen and gravel roads, although we probably wouldn't get too far off the beaten track with the Pathfinder due to its limited ground clearance and lack of low range gearing. So if you're looking for a smartly designed, solidly built and well equipped family adventure van, then the Van Cruiser Family HTO could fit the bill. While it's not exactly cheap, it does make a lot of sense from a value for money as well as towing perspective. <laughs>